Hello to all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about favorites. This is actually my favorite videos to watch and to make because it's about favorites. It's like, you know, talking about your hobby. So today's favorites um, are going to be from September and October. I accumulated, well, accumulated the stuff that I've been loving uh, during these two months. I find it very difficult to fit favorites in one month because I don't find that I have a lot of favorites in one single month. Sometimes I do. Obviously, it's not only five things or six things. It's always a little bit more because we're combining two months, so. First thing that I really liked and I used it practically in all my videos and in general, uh, it's this Cushion Foundation by Dior Dream Skin Perfect Skin Cushion. It's the name. The name's long name. Um, well, you know how it looks. Sponge, which I don't use. I took it away. Loving this foundation very much. I have another foundation, Cushion Foundation by Clarence. They have different textures. I use this Cushion Foundation in my um, tutorial, makeup tutorial, maybe one month ago. I'm going to link down below my video so you can see how it looks like on the face. Why I like this foundation is because it has a quite a dewy finish to it. Um, right now I don't have it on my face. Actually, I have the Clarence one because this is um, the color that I have in number 20 is a little bit dark for me right now but it was perfect during September and October when I had a little bit of tan left and in October I used a little bit of tanning right now I don't have any tanning so the, I was using the Clarence one which is on the lighter uh, color but all in all this was my favorite I really like it it has a dewy finish but it doesn't have like oily finish like if I have to, even if you have a on an oily side skin, you can still perfectly use this one. I mean, you always can powder the T zone. So loving this one. Um, just gonna finish with the makeup and then go to the skincare. Uh, N Y X. This is the professional makeup um, dark circle concealer. Now this has this, um, it's very creamy and it has a very peachy color which is perfect to cover dark circles under your eyes. I use normally like in the corners exactly where the darkness is more visible and then I go with a brightening um, concealer like more all over under the eye area. I'm loving it because it doesn't crease at all. It has a little bit powdery finish so if you have a dry skin you don't necessarily need to powder it because it's just you know it's kind of powdered yeah powdered finish i like it a lot i use it every day all the time even if you don't have the visible dark circles it's still very good the concealer as a product um blush i have this combo that i've been using uh, a lot for the past months. I have it right now on my cheeks. I know it's already like mid after afternoon, so probably it kind of faded away. I like to have a base of this blush. It's something special by uh, MAC. It's called Cream Blend Blush from the range. I kind of uh, buff it like all over my cheek and then I would put on the apple of my cheeks this um, by clinic chubby stick in robust rhubarb because it's a little bit brighter as you can see so I would so I would go more and like, just for the like pop of bright brighter color but the whole base of my like cheekbone almost is in this color it gives a nice blush I think it's very autumnal it's very because the summer is over, but you still want to have this, you know, glow in your face, color on your face. And this gives this mood. I don't know. I really like it. 
these two together are really nice. Um, nail polish. I've been loving these two nail polishes. One is my pr practical, my, my all-time favorite. I go come back to this every now and then during like, I don't know, maybe three years, two years that I have it. It's uh, Rimmel in uh, Coralicious. Very bright color. I think I had it two videos prior to this. So it's like very nice, bright. It's not exactly coral, but it's not red. It's in between. It's a perfect medium. I normally always put this color when I know I have outings or I know during the week I'll, yeah, I will have like go for a drink or something like this. Well, I'll drink. Not at this point, but yeah. Um, and uh, another color I've been using, I completely forgot about this color right now. I have it on my nails. This is by Chanel in Rose Cachet. I used to love this color a lot and I forgot about it. Um, I think the last time I used it was like two years ago. This is the beautiful, well, it's like a dusty pink. I would say it's more nude pink color, so, but it's not this beige or yellow kind of nude. It's like pink nude, as you can see. And I don't know, it's just, uh, such a delicate, sophisticated in the same moment, very neat color. I think it's used to every skin tone and every outfit. Of course, if you want to go for more glamour, you know, more bright colors, that would be a little bit more like boring. But I like during the day, just to, during like, you know, daily life, to have very, you know, invisible sort of nails so I can wear all the colors I want. I mean, if I would wear, because <laughs> normally I don't wear a lot of colors anyway. But regardless, loving this. My lipstick, because I have dry lips, in general dehydrated skin this month, I opted for a more, I would normally go for more of a balm lipstick, like lip color balm all together because it just makes sense, you know. And uh, this one by Elizabeth Thurden was a perfect, perfect option this month for me. I have it right now on my lips as well. It's a nude, like beige nude color. It looks pretty bright, like kind of dark, uh, but it's very, it's very nudey. And it's balmy, like you cannot even swatch. I'm loving it. Yeah, I've used it a lot, as you can see. And yeah, it lasts for longer than you would think of a balm because it's like a balm lipstick. It lasts longer than normal balms last on your lips. So yeah, it's really good. But you know, it's this eight hour um, lip balm, but with a color. So it's one of the best ones. Loving it a lot. Um, my discover actually uh, this month, no, yes, in October, I think I got it in October or the end of September, is the brand called the uh, Flor Flormar, Italian brand. And I discovered some of the products of theirs and they are all quite good. It's, it's a drugstore products um, brand. This uh, lip liner is uh, Flormar Style Matic. In number 11 there has no name um, I used it in my video where I was showing my five favorite nude lipsticks you can check it out I don't have it right now on my lips but the color is beautiful also very um, it goes with every nude lipstick every pink lipstick and every pink peach lipstick I basically can use with all the lipstick I normally use because peachy, like peach rose nude lipsticks are my go-to lipsticks. This is such, such a first, like I, I just can take this one and I'll be okay with every lipstick, even this one. Pro probably with this one, while well, I used another um, lip liner because this one is a little bit tiny, a bit more pink and this one quite beige, like on a beige and terracotta. 
uh, side so I use more beige but this one is really 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 beautiful and the textures is amazing now uh, the skincare actually I have only two or one um, yeah no we we'll still have a kind of a makeup situation here it's the makeup setter by uh, Essence Glow to Go Illuminating Setting Spray um, surprisingly, I mean, Essence is a very affordable drugstore brand, German brand, and sometimes they have products uh, that are just no, and sometimes they have products that really I can put in the same line with the high-end product, and yeah, it, this one is good. I wanted to try this because I wanted to try a uh, new MAC uh, glowy also uh, plus fix fix plus that they have and I wanted first to try the cheaper version to see if I actually like this you know radiance glowy makeup set setter on my face and I do like it I like this one so it's gonna be very interesting to compare because I'm gonna get the Mac as well and to see it gives you a real radiance and it, it's like sort of the effect as if you have some shimmery powder on top of your face but the look but you don't have this powder or texture you know so yeah if you have dry skin it's amazing i don't know i don't i think even if you have an oily skin it still will go because it's not exactly it doesn't make your skin look oily or shiny it's just more radiant it has the little particles like shimmery Really beautiful. I like it, especially now that I have dehydrated skin. I like everything with the shimmer and glow and you know, radiance sort of. Um, hair. I've been using this by uh, Moroccan Oil Smooth Smoothing Lotion all the time. After I wash my hair, it's um, it's also uh, heat protecting. Blow dry, blow dry essential instant control heat protecting and uh, it's um, smooth as your hair like if you want to have your hair very silky very smooth it's perfect and during the day I also like to smooth my hair with this especially if you have like a tendency to fizzy hair it's amazing I'm loving it unless you have a very fine hair and like not a lot and you like to have more volume or more like texture it's not exactly texturing thing like it makes your hair even more smooth and kind of like sparse but at the same time it's just so sleek and nice I like it with my hairstyle that I have it right now I really like it because I like it smoother now this one I'm loving a lot um, skincare I have one product that is just amazing discovery it's a discovery. I knew, I've known about this product for a while. I just didn't have it. It's by Cores. It's their uh, black pine um, anti wrinkle firming and lifting day cream. I have also the packaging here. I still didn't throw it away. Um, so it looks like this, and the bottle looks like this. All well, the bottle, the jar. It's all about the texture here. The texture is, well, I've been using it a lot. Especially if you have dehydrated skin or dry skin. Even if it, if, and if you don't have dry skin, dehydrated skin, it feels very moisturizing. It feels very thick when you take it in your hands, like, or you do like this and pat it or whatever application you're using. I normally pat the cream. I don't really like, smudge or smear it all over my face. And then it absorbs, absorbs in a beautiful, like, plumpy, like, plumpy. It makes your face very plump and moisturized and it's just, you don't even want to put a makeup on because your skin looks radiant and healthy. Why I notice it? Because I do feel like my skin is drier than before. And um, for me, seeing this, makes me happy and it lasts all day my skin feels good all day I don't know it's just and it's firming I mean what else 
firming. You, we all want something firming, right? And anterior ankle lifting. Well, obviously you put all over your neck. Sometimes I put in my hands, whatever is left, of course. And the last thing, it's not not a product, it's a supplement. It's um, a pomegranate super antioxidant. It's a pomegranate concentrate, double strength and unrefined powerful antioxidant. Uh, you have to drink it like uh, 20 milligrams every day. It can be any brand. I'm buying this brand, it's called Optimizing Brand or Healthy Heart. It may help maintain a healthy heart as part of your balanced diet. It's not only about healthy heart. For instance, pomegranate is good for pretty much everything. There is also vitamin C in here. If you have a bad circulation or anemia, which normally if you have anemia, your circulation can suffer. Um, I but genetically I have anemia, like uh, always some lack of iron. So to me is um, is a must, and I will be drinking this for a while, I think. And now we have a season of pomegranate, so I'm eating it as well. Now these are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye bye. Love.